It's good to have you here. <laughs> Welcome to the Stradivate. My name is Rocky, and I'll be your guide on our trip deep into the earth. We're going more than three miles down. We're going to see a lot of neat stuff along the way. So if you're ready, let's get going. Hang on tight. and stalagmites in the process. Pretty, huh? Well, let's catch our breath and plunge on. Here. But 
Let's have a look, eh? 167 degrees. How are you folks doing in there? I bet you didn't know that for every 300 feet down we go, the temperature goes up about four and a half degrees. Mm. Now, this is a deposit of evaporite. It's a kind of sedimentary rock that's made when minerals like salt and gypsum get left behind when salt water evaporates. And these rocks were made 400 million years ago when Pittsburgh was a hot, dry place south of the equator. Yeah. Now, there was a shallow inland lake there, kind of like the Great Salt Lake in Utah. And uh, it dried up, uh, leaving these tremendous deposits. And if you look close, you'll see that they're all crystal. Sometimes you find some real beauties, oh, just like this one. Ain't nature great? Nope. Well, try to keep cool in there, because we're going even deeper. Down we go. some rocks made out of things called stromatolites. Now, they were colonies of algae, akin to that slimy stuff you find inside your goldfish bowl, you know, the stuff. <laughs> well, this is the fossilized remains of lots of algae that formed a reef under the huge ocean that covered most of the North American continent 500 million years ago. Stromatolites are one of the first forms of life on this planet. And they were neat because they took in carbon dioxide and they gave off oxygen, <laughs> which allowed uh, oxygen-breathing creatures to evolve and eventually you and me to come along. Oh, and speaking of coming along, we better get along to our last stop. Eh, just let me... Sometime. So long. Bye.